Hi, um, it's me, Odan. Um, I want to read to you one of the stories I wrote while I was in prison. A lot of girls liked it. A lot of units wanted me to read it out loud to them. So I hope you all like it too. Um, it is called The Suitcase Story. And it is based on um, an old ugly suitcase that used to be on the power trail. And somebody took it to the thrift store and it just sat there for a very long time. I hope you enjoy what I have written for you. I live in a dusty, smelly, not too appealing to look at thrift store. I don't know how long I've been here, but I do know that I have enough dust on me to knit myself a sweater. All these other good looking suitcases come and go so fast that I never get to know their names. I think they're lucky. I'm jealous. I admit it. It makes me sad that I'm not good looking like them. The other suitcases are probably cared with love and respect. I bet they don't. I bet they're not at home all smothered in dust. I don't like to fill myself up with so much self-pity, but I get so lonely, just me and all this dust. I'm pretty underneath all this dust. I have lots of pockets, and orange is a beautiful color for a suitcase. My handle is sturdy, and I'm laced with silver bling all over me. You know what? I'm not going to sit here and feel bad about myself no longer. I'm going to wait until the store I'm gonna wait until the store closes because I'm gonna make myself so beautiful that the people are gonna fight over me. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take me one of those dusty old suitcase naps so I can feel nice and spunky for the adventure on the store floor. The store is quiet and I am cold and I wipe the dust out of my eyes and jump off this cold shelf. I hit the floor so hard that I see that I cannot see what's in front of me. I don't realize them all the dust that I lived in. I look to the left and I see all the big bikes teaching their little bikes to move without training wheels. Tra um, that's good that they stay family oriented. One of the bigger bikes honked at me. As I look to the right, I see all my relatives. Jeans, shorts, socks, coats, even blankets, and they all have this look of surprise on them. I wonder what that's about. I slide down the aisle and I weave myself through the long jacket so they can dust me off. Thank goodness the restroom is right there so I can take a shower. I wonder who or what in the restroom is going to help me get myself clean. I know that if I go into the men's bathroom that I could take a shower under one of those urinals. I don't have to jump into one of them. I just need help someone to keep the water running so it overflows. Drying off is a breeze. I just don't, I just need to push the button a few times and use the toilet paper and the styles to polish my bling. The dryer blows me wide open and I lay there feeling fresh, clean, and very positive about my long-awaited idea. I'm gonna be the first food suitcase off the shelf tomorrow. They're gonna think that I'm the best looking suitcase in the whole store. The entire city. Let's not stop there. Let's go for the, the best looking suitcase in the entire state. I know I can do it. I know I can pull myself out of the dusty depression. As I walk by the mirror, I stop to look at myself and pop my collar because I know I look good and I smell good. I have high confidence now. I'm going to strap my stuff right, into, right in front of my relatives. And as I pull open a door, are interrupted by my favorite cousin, Blue Jean and Ty. These two are never without one another. I swear they can shape shift because I've seen these two in rainbow different colors. We all just start laughing with one another because that's all we do. Me and my cousins just laugh and tell jokes and embarrass. We don't care who sees us or stands there and watches us. We are having good, simple fun. I just had a great idea. I had my cousins inside of me. Nicely folded, smelling good. Might be able to find us a good home. I'm gonna take this night and talk them into it. So we spent the entire night laughing, making jokes, pranks, and enjoying ourselves as we sat in front of the window to watch the sunrise. 
we started making promises to one another to visit one another when we're chosen to a good home. We sat there in silence knowing that there might be the last time we see one another. I look at both of them and ask if they wanted to sit inside me. I painted this pretty picture of us living happy, others caring for us, and people loving us. I gave them the rundown and why I jumped off the shelf for that night. We smiled at one another, walked slowly to myself, my shelf in silence. We dusted off the shelf, wiped it clean, we made it look beautiful. We even made a fresh new price tag. Blue Jean folded himself up inside of me with knee creases so sharp he almost looked brand new all over again. Tide laid on blue jeans and folded into himself as a nice swan. They looked very handsome and I told them it was time for me to close them in. We were silent. We fell asleep. Something jerked me open and I thought it was dreaming until blue jean and Ty started tickling my inner shell. I closed my eyes very tight and open to a stranger who seemed interested in buying me. Could it be? Am I finally going to a good home? And I have my relatives with me? This is going to be great. A home, love, attention, and still beautiful. Thank you for listening.